I don't remember when you talked about this. Was it was either on a podcast or there was like a Guardian interview with you where you're just talking about cocaine, doing cocaine in England. Yeah. Where where did did I read that or I heard I you know. talk about it? Either. Do you remember doing a lot of cocaine in London? Not more than usual. I mean, there was a <laughs> there was like a uh, it was the because you don't seem very much like a drug guy. You don't like read oh, as a drug I was, guy. I was way I was uh, a big upper guy. Like I didn't like. Uh, I was not a downer guy. I didn't like lose yeah. or. Uh, I've done you know everything a handful of times. Like heroin was just not not worth it to me. Um, Did you ever do it? Try it. Yeah, yeah. And it you was know. like. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Uh, yeah. I never shot it. Um, and. It was, I probably did it, I don't know, I, maybe seven or eight times total. Um, heroin. Heroin, yeah. And uh, um, How many times would you say you've done cocaine? Oh, shit. Hundreds and hundreds. Great. Um, no one ever openly talks about cocaine. I'm I'm pro cocaine, uh, but it, like in any any drug, it has to be used in moderation. Yeah. I'm not a nor was I ever like. Hey, Did you read the like Carl Hart book Drug Use for Grownups? <laughs> no, it's a but he's a buddy. He's a he's a I like head the of title. he's he's professor at Columbia. Yeah, and the book came out two or three years ago, and uh, he's he's like you can do meth. Yeah, you can do all oh, I this. Did a you bunch can do of heroin. Crystal. You can do did, all this stuff. I did lots of crystal. I did loved you really? It. Yeah. God damn it, that's great. I had one specific rule. It was very, very important to me, and it's why I, uh, of all the things I've ever done, I've told this story before. I did crack in London, and this must have been the thing I heard. Yeah, and uh, and it was amazing, and I was. With two friends and three strangers, and a, <laughs> they were. I hope strange everyone pictures you strangers. like smoking it out of a pipe, like a wood yeah. pipe, like a British oh, something like dignified. Those, uh, Meerschaum yeah, like, <laughs> or whatever that's called. Yeah, like I'm Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were there was this guy who uh, was uh, like a very well known uh, town character figure in um, Camden, Camden Town which was like the hipster, this is yep. pre-Shoreditch and all that, and pre-Hackney. So Camden Town was the the place. And um, and this guy would perform in the back of a fish and chip place. And uh, and he was kind of rockabilly, whatever. And, uh, and he just, everybody knew him. He was one of those guys. And I don't know how <laughs> it came to be, but me and two friends... And that guy, and then these two older, kind of funny, cackly uh, British women. Um, you ever read Viz, British no. comedy magazine? Uh, they have the. Uh, there's a comic called Two Fat Slags, and they were kind of like them. Um, ended up at this guy's fucking tiny, shitty, dirty flat with. A uh, uh, the one thing I'll never forget is a empty fish tank with uh, dirty dishes in it, <laughs> and we smoked crack. And I could not understand these women. These women were like Northern England, so yeah. that's really tough to hear and uh, um, to to comprehend and uh, and their accents. And uh, and it was just weird, right? Yeah. And we smoked crack all night until. The third time, maybe fourth time, and it was like, "Are we going to get some more?" Because we kept buying more, and I was like, "If I don't leave now," because I was doing shows. I was there. I had a month at the Soho Theater on Dean Street, Soho, and uh, I was like, "If I don't," oh, I, I didn't even tell you my. I'm sorry. I've, I've went through all this. So my rule, my one rule is, if I ever fuck up a performance or can't make a performance because of drugs or drinking, I have to quit that thing. I have to quit. And that was my promise. You have to quit the substance, not comedy. The substance, yeah. yeah. If it's messing with, with my ability to uh, be professional, to Carl deliver. Hart's rule is you have to sleep. Anytime people have psychosis from mm, yeah, drugs, yeah. it's because they haven't slept. Yeah, I mean, all I've the been, bath salt, been... which is a fake story anyway, but like yeah. any psychotic episode, 
the first question you should ask is, have you slept? And yeah. the answer is always going to be no. Yeah. So he's like, take a sleeping pill, do whatever you have to do. Yeah, that makes sense. I've been on, you know, was on some benders where you just sort of come to, you, you not that you were unconscious, but you're doing this stuff and you're walking around and then you just sort of regain clarity and you're like, what? It's 10 a.m. I'm in Tompkins Square Park and I've got, a uh, tall boy in my hand. What am I doing? <laughs> go home. It's time to go home. <laughs> you know, and uh but yeah, I I I said no, I gotta go. And uh and that was the one and only time because it was great. Yeah. It's great. And uh that's actually a joke I think from Mr. Show. It's oh, yeah, lie detector yeah, yeah, sketch. Yeah. 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 Have you <laughs> yes, ever done crack? What about crack? Do you ever Smoke yeah. some crack? Yes. Oh. Dude, you're out there. <laughs> I hadn't done it at that point, but uh, Jay had. And uh, um, he was like, oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's the funny. It's like the first time I've ever seen someone on television say, yeah, it's good. I think the line is, yeah, it's great. It's crack. Yeah. It's incredible. It's it was great. I... It's crack. It gets you really. <laughs> <laughs> but I was not a downer guy, but I loved doing, again, in moderation, and I wasn't like, let's do fat. Yeah, Rails would you do and, it like a like celebratorily, or would you just do like I don't know, feel like no, doing drugs? No, no, it was only as a, a practical function to keep staying out. So I would I would not do big lines, but I would have some, and I would do bumps, you know, and we'd be out. Uh, and I I was a a bachelor who's kind of famous with some money in the East Village and Lower East Side with some celebrity and. Why the fuck wouldn't you do By that? By the way, the locus of your celebrity. If you're going to be, <laughs> yeah. like, you're extremely famous. You're Will Smith. In that. In, in the that. Lower East Side. <laughs> yeah. And Brooklyn. But, I mean, I was having a blast. Yes. And I was going out drinking and meeting girls and hanging out with friends and going to shows. And 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 so I never did, like, you know, uh, coke or, right? Like, you know, I'm not going to talk like that and I'm all jittery. I would just... It was, it was, as I said to my wife, it's like, it's, it's like a cup of coffee for your nose. <laughs> you know, it was, I wasn't doing like stuff where I was an asshole. If it's enhancing, like it. knock yes. yourself out. That's so what that's I, that's what I, that's how I did. Co so I did a lot of Coke, but I didn't, I wasn't a Cokehead. I wasn't a fiend. I just, and it's also, I, you know, literally, I knew everybody. There was a guy at every bar. You just you find out who it is, and you go grab a bag, and that's it. It's it's easy. I mean, it's you'd yeah. go, and then you go in the bathroom, do some bumps, and you're like, all right, let's have another drink. Yeah, great. Cocaine. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe, and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.